As the weekend of homecoming 2008 approached, Elon University waited anxiously for Saturday's showdown with Western Carolina. Homecoming means so much to all of us because it's an opportunity to play in front of a great crowd, uh, folks that care so much about this institution. As we went throughout the week, you know, we all came out and we knew from Tuesday when we started practice that we had a big task at hand. We always try to keep our focus at one point and that's just focusing on the game. But uh, I know we was uh, real excited to get back out, especially after the last game. And uh, we just felt like we just had to come out and prove it to ourselves and prove to everybody else that we could bounce back in the right way. It was a championship game. Every Southern Conference game for us is a championship game. And Western Carolina was coming in with a new coaching staff, some good athletes. And we were coming off a of bye week, and we knew we had to be ready to go. They're in their place right now. All right? We were down there last year, and we did the worst thing possible, and that's play below your potential. That's the worst thing you do as a football team. All right? Well, they just played our opportunity, right? And that means getting after it from play one to play 100. Two teams, fans, and the band. The stage was set in a crucial Southern Conference matchup for the Phoenix. Yeah, I was really pleased with how our guys came out ready to play. We really shut down their run game and made them one-dimensional in the first half. I know when we first came out, you know, we had our first drive and we got three points. And, uh, I mean, we wasn't necessarily, you know, going out just killing and scoring major points, but we knew that uh, from the beginning of the game that we had a good uh, step on these guys and we knew the things that were going to be open later on and we just had to stick with it, basically just keep on saying, come on, guys, you know, eventually it's going to happen. Then. The Phoenix got the spark they needed to get the ball downfield, or so they thought. A second down play action pass from Scott Riddle to Terrell Hudgens seemed to be Elon's first touchdown of the game. On the, field. the same time, you know, even though you could look at it as that should have been seven points, you know, we're still making those penalties were, you know, costly and something we 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 shouldn't have done. Hey, no more penalties the game now. I think some of that had to do with coming out of a bye week. It took us a little bit of time to get back in sync offensively. So anytime you have a penalty, particularly on offense, it puts you off schedule. Off schedule was exactly where the Phoenix found themselves getting pinned on the one-yard line by a catamount punt. Avoiding the safety, Riddle and Hudgens went to work. <laughs> Running back Brandon Newsom and wide receiver Bo Williamson carried the Phoenix into the red zone where Lance Camp would take over. On this broken play, Camp picked up big yardage to set up the subsequent touchdown pass. Riddle went straight over the top to Camp for his second touchdown reception of the season. Andrew Wilcox tacked on the extra point and another field goal to give the Phoenix a 13-0 edge heading into the locker room. As the Catamounts kicked off the second half, Elon felt comfortable in the driver's seat. After an Elon first down, Riddle dropped the pass, and in one play, the game changed. Touchdown, Western Carolina on the interception. 
We went from being in control and, and maybe having a chance to extend the lead uh, to getting in a situation where we were within one score of, of losing the lead. Every time we get in a close game, you learn a little bit more about your team, and we've had a lot of those this year. But Elon bounced right back. After a good return by Lance Camp, Riddle and the offense powered their way down the field. On the return for the Phoenix, number four, Lance Camp. It was Riddle's legs that put the points on the board rather than his arm. And the Phoenix put themselves back in control. However, Western Carolina replied in kind with a three-yard touchdown pass to the front corner of the end zone. The Phoenix knew it was time to put the game out of reach and called them their All-American receiver. Oh, well, I caught it, turned around. It was just one-on-one. -on -one. I knew I wasn't going to let him stop me three yards out. You know, I kind of smacked him. He went down, grabbed my foot. I just pulled away. Touched him. I, I saw him throwing shirts earlier. Then when I ran off, I saw the shirts on the ground, so I figured I'd throw a couple of the stands to the people in the middle who didn't have the opportunity to catch him. I didn't even see it. I heard about it. I was like, man, this guy's a clown. But that, that's him. That's how T-Mobile do, you know, so... You know, you can't stop him. That's his personality. You know, when he's in his own, he's in his own. Fins with that last reception, Elon Jr. wide receiver Terrell Hudgens becomes the Southern Conference's all-time leading receiver with 3,527 career yards. I gotta say, I, I think Scott and, and the offensive line and the rest of the offense for my records, because if it wasn't for them, you know, I also wouldn't have the yards I had. I really get my joy out of seeing them doing well. And they and they always come to us after the game and say, you know, good job. We appreciate y'all guys doing a good job up front. So it, we're not unappreciated. And it just, it's just a great feeling to see those guys doing great out there, knowing that we had something to do with it. Elon would punch in one more score and cruise to a 33-14 victory, picking up their eighth win of the season. When we come to the locker room, you know, we're excited. You know, we all excited about, you know, getting past that seventh win. Last year we got seven. A big uh, roadblock for us to overcome when we got the eight. So, uh, I mean, of course we're all very excited about it, but at the same time it's a business and we know that we got other things that we got to do to be uh, in the position we want to be in at the end of the year. I want you to enjoy this, right? The bottom line is finding a way to win games. And what we're most proud of is the fact that we've got eight wins under our belt, six Southern Conference wins, and we're within striking distance of a championship in the playoffs right now. And that's the, the biggest goal for this program.